Hey. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Oh, it's Burt Reynolds. This isn't that hard. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, dear, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. Well, I have a thin mustache. Real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar. Goes down across my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes. Yeah. Mm. Are you a freaking Bond villain? I, uh... I... Uh, that's what I was yeah. thinking myself. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They're happy. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. So what should I do now? There's no objective. Pick up whiskey. Save for later. Should I finish boarding this up? Well, how how do I finish this? Oh, okay. You don't need nails to board board something up. Yep, no nails. 100% confirmed. Up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay. Hey, okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How were those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh. Magical. Good. Now get to work. Well, that was fast. This game is jumping days. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Mm -hmm. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. 
Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Are they dead? Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. It was broken again. The radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. This mm -hmm. is getting creepy. Sure, be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Wait, am I going crazy? That wasn't real, was it? Man, th the narrative is just going so fast. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Okay. I saw that supply box so, earlier. Like two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Oh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. <sighs> Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. 
This is so one-sided. I want to reply. Is there no option to reply? All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Well, it's day 64. This game is going way too fast. Well, oh, there's a fire. What might be the biggest fire of the year? Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Hmm. Delilah? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So what should I so do? this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? No, I'm looking at you. Oh. Well, um, let me know when you are. That was awkward. <laughs> so what should I do? Talk to Delilah. Hey, the game is not progressing by itself. What should I do now? Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day it's just smoke, but when the sun is down you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Me too. Is she asking to pork? We could sit outside. We could talk. We have these radios. We could, um, you know. What could we do? <laughs> what? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Well, just talk, maybe. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Skip the best part. You're going what the hell? Without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. <laughs> Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go fishing. Clipboard. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the 
fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, what hold on. Something's hell? out here. Henry! I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. What the hell? Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. Well, get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. <coughs> what, what? What? Oh my god. What? Holy shit! Someone hit me. What happened, Henry? I, I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ! <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll... Uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what... What you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. <sighs> what do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Well, this, this story just got interesting. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. What the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. What, are there, are there aliens? Man, this really got super interesting. <clears throat> Why is the rock vibrating? Is it, is it my PC? <laughs> Let's try rock soccer. Yes, physics. Physics at work again. 
And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. It's not working. How do I get in? Is there like a secret passage or something? This is this is gonna be Area Fifty One if that's the case. Oh, I I can. Oh no. No, oh, I can't. Get through the fence. Maybe there is something broken. No. I mean, what the hell? How do I? How do I get in? Maybe I could climb. <clears throat> oh, I can climb here. Or not. The obvious way is that always the right way in the game. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. If you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay, let's go to Ruby River. Which is... It's just... Uh, what? Wow, it's so far! It's like way beyond my lookout. Oh well. around things seem normal with everyone else should we call the cops or the forest service and and let them know this is going on um don't you think that would sound you know crazy yeah it is crazy we have to tell someone tell them what henry tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof i don't know tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never gonna let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss.
like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Hey, I was here. So let's see if they animated some some actual humans in this game. Yeah, I already took the stuff from that cache, so we're just gonna walk past it. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. No, I think I think he hit a tree. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That's a oh, in the den. Oh, or, yeah, I no, get it. <laughs> good job. Good job with the pond. Good job with the pond. Good job with the pond. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. I I had to do it. Okay, are, are we supposed to go here? Comp. What? Well, I can't read this. Arapaho. Scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware oh, sorry. in large numbers. Okay. Can't cross the here. To the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Whoa, that is high. There's a totem. Creepy totem. Okay, there's no one. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean... I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. 
What the hell's a glove hitch? Ah, well, it's not that you are probably too <laughs> old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblo do it. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. So where should I go? Yeah, these guys are gone. Yeah, I Not suspected they were as much. Before getting picked up. Damn. Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days... Dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that... That, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Mm, I don't know. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You... You think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, that's wrong. I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Okay, we're gonna go back again to Wapiti Meadow. Guess what? What you got? I found an axe back near that camp. A uh, firefighter left it? Probably, yeah. It's got, like, a funny little point. Sure does. Okay, that's called a Pulaski. It's standard issue. Whatever. This oh. Pulaski I found means I can start clearing these trails. So it's called a Pulaski. That's cool. I always thought it was just called an axe. Okay, now we have a way. So uh, there should be a shortcut. Okay, let's just go back. Are you there? I I had a thought. What? Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. Alright, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just... What? Cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the um, hell? There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Oh my Not god. Uh, radios. Someone's... <laughs> someone is don't hearing. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh my god, that is so creepy. Someone just coughed by accident.